Good morning! Rick in the Rockies. One of my big time fans, Lucas. Hey guys. <laughs> Trailing with me. So I'm doing a, a repeat hike for myself. Uh, Volcano Peak, it's been two years since I've been up here. Lucas is gonna be his first silver. So we're just heading out here, uh, what is it, June 25th or something, and uh, 20 after 8 in the morning, just at the trailhead off Sheep Creek Trail. We took the quad in past the first three or four kilometers of boggy, muddy stuff, and uh, we're going to hike here now. Plus minus 20 kilometers return trip. It's looking like a great day. Okay, so we came to our first creek crossing. Well, our only creek crossing for this trail. Lucas is gonna show us how it's done. Skip across these couple of rocks here. Get on that sandbar. Jump up on these trees over here. And the trail is just across right here. So we'll be able to pick that up right away all right good stuff my turn We're all good. Nice. Okay, trail is over there. Yeah, some elevation here, now that we're past the creek. Here we go. Breaking out the bush for a little glimpse of the summit. Way up there somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it is. I think we go up there and walk along the ridge to out to here. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. The man says let's go. So off we go. <laughs> oh. According to the watch, we're about 1.5k in. Seems farther than that. Maybe it's just because of the first hike of the season. <laughs> so the last time I did this was on July 11th, 2020. Now we're June 25th, 22. So last year I only got one hike in. As far as Albertine Creek on my way to Russell. Had to tap out. Um, so yeah, in preparation for August and knocking out a few golds, I decided to hit Volcano today with Lucas and uh, try to get myself primed up 
for the latter part of the season. Another view, I'll put your way up on a pedestal here. <laughs> There's where we're headed. We are now six kilometers in approximately. And uh, get some aerial footage of us here. Lucas anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're about 6K in. So plus minus. I don't know, according to the book, it's supposed to be an hour 4k to the summit, but I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be closer to 6. We're uh, two hours in. And uh, so far, so good. We only lost the trail once here for about 5 minutes, 10 minutes. That we uh, had to do a couple of circles here and find our next uh, trail marker. But I am noticing the trail is a lot more uh you can tell there's been a lot more traffic on it since it, in the two years since my last trip up here i think uh, it saw a lot of traffic in 2020 2021 i was here early in 2020 so uh yeah that's good to see lots of people on the trail uh it's definitely easier to find the trail now than the first time we came up because it was all overgrown and uh, harder to find but uh, definitely a more of a well-worn footpath through the majority of it anyway a couple areas there where it gets a little uh, little tricky with the willows and stuff growing up but other than that pretty easy trail to follow okay well Lucas what you think buddy awesome awesome we're close we're close. getting there that's not where we're going yeah. that's just another beautiful mountain but this is uh this is where we're headed beautiful. i think we're going to break out up here and climb up to this rocky ridge then follow the ridge line along and the summit is out on the front there where the mailbox is so we're just about seven kilometers in now two hours and 15 minutes and that's wit getting disoriented a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this trail's amazing. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, and it's a grand day. I went on a little bit of subalpine here. Easy walking for a few hundred meters. We got to dip in this valley and get up on that hill there. Yeah, still got some snow in the bush here. Of course, there's snow on the summit up there, but it should be under the ridge where we have to walk. But still, some patches here in the bush. Uh, June 25th. Yeah. So we skirt around a few of these. But for the most part, the trail is clear. Just a couple of areas. Got a few small patches so far. So, not too much farther up the trail from where we were. And there's uh, quite a bit of snow pack piled up here. We got a dodge around here and dipsy doodle and whatnot around this snow, which some of it is like knee deep. So, not so bad for me. I got the gaiters on, but uh, Lucas there just got on the running shoes, so he's trying not to fill his boots with snow. No. <laughs> but we're making it. And we're going to get to the uh, Alpine here now and then have a little snack, which should be about three hours in. We're 2.45 now. So here we are on the sub-Alpine. 
I guess you'd call it, yeah. Something like that. Just another 100 meters or so elevation, not even that 50 meters elevation. We should be in the Alpine, but we came across this big snow field here. <laughs> An understatement. So we're uh, just debating, because we don't know where the trail goes. I know it goes this way a little ways, but I don't know exactly. So there's an opening in the trees just up right here. We're thinking we're just going to scramble up and go that way. So once we hit the Alpine, we're free to go where we like anyway, kind of. There's no really known trail or given trail there, so I think let's go this way, man. Good. And see what happens here. It's either going to be good or bad. 50-50 chance. Oh, the snow is good and hard, if you can get up on it. Oh yeah, this is like glacial snow. You want to get a good foothold though, because you'll go slipping down over this in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, this, is, this, is, this was definitely the best route if you can get there, man. Yeah, we're there. We're there, buddy. Just like that. Looks like some grouse has been hanging out here, pooping all over the snow. Final ascent of the snow field by Lucas. There you go, buddy. Yeah, it worked out for us. Yeah! So we'll head up that way. To the rocky outcrop up there. Here we are in the beautiful Alpine. So nice and peaceful up here. Beauty day. Just a beauty day, light breeze. Hopefully it stays like that. We're going way out here on the end. We're gonna boot around up over this. Get on the ridge, walk the ridge all the way out. Some awesome views looking across to lightning on the other side. And I got a big surprise for my YouTube fans coming up later. Yep. Big surprise. Big channel announcement. Some new, new stuff for the future. Rick and the Rockies, out. Okay, folks, we're up here on the ridge. Three hours, 21 minutes in, 9.2 kilometers. On the ridge walk. Look at that view is back in through there, man. That is awesome. Beauty. Wow. Mountains for miles, my friend. Mountains for miles. Except we're back that way. <laughs> That's looking towards Grand Prairie. Ain't nothing up in Grand Prairie. <laughs> Only a great big old prairie. And trees, lots of trees. Wow. That's incredible. So there's one guy there sneaked ahead of us. We thought we were going to be the first ones up here this season. We passed him back there earlier. He was sitting in the Alpine there having a snack. 
and uh, he was on the trail ahead of us. We saw his truck there at the trailhead this morning. Anyway, we passed him by and then uh, when we stopped at the snowfield back there, he caught up and passed us. Well, we stopped and had a snack and then he got on ahead of us. So anyway, he's uh, on over there on the ridge there somewhere now, but <clears throat> maybe he'll trip and fall and we'll get there ahead of him. <laughs> Be the first ones up here this season. Otherwise, we'll be the second and third up here this season, which is still pretty damn good. I'll take it. Yeah, for sure. I always want to see grizzlies feeding in the alpine, and I never, never see it. Anyway, maybe we'll be lucky later. Okay, folks, we're back again. Rick and the Rockies and Lucas. I'm going to document this for Lucas here. He's coming up the last few meters. His first ascent of a silver peak. The passport to the peaks. Incredible. He's in awe of the view. <laughs> it is totally spectacular. It's a beautiful day. Barely a breath of wind. There you go, buddy. Number one. Oh, that's awesome. High five. Good stuff, man. That's awesome. Volcano yeah. Peak. First two up here to season. And our other hiker, yes, he tripped over there. Actually, I think <laughs> he's lasting for sheep or something. So we were number one and two. He's number one. I'm number two. Lucas navigating the snowpack. Should have brought your should have brought your crampons. <laughs> Next time. There we go. Give you an idea how much snow might have been here in the middle of February, eh? Yeah. That's still six feet deep there in places or more. Yep. Oh, we're back to the tree line. Stop here and have a water. So that took us 42 minutes to come down there. 2.6 kilometers. We walked around the, kind of walked around the ledge there, skirted around the ledge, having a view down in the valley. Still didn't see any, oh look, a nice butterfly. Sorry, went off on a tangent. 
<laughs> Still didn't see any grizzlies feeding in the meadows, but they look awesome looking down at them. Anyway, we'll have a drink of water here and descend into the forest. Hi de ho! So we're out on the quad trail here. Uh, kind of an odd story. We were coming down off the mountain there and maybe five, six kilometer mark, halfway thereabouts. Uh, we just lost the trail there. We spent, I don't know, half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour circling around there. Three times we went back to the last trail tape we could find where there was three pieces of trail tape on three different trees. Um, we had a look around there and what did we see? Nada. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. We could not find the trail. So we started following what we thought was the trail quickly realized that that was not the trail after like the fourth time circling back so we decided to uh, haul out the GPS or the phone with the GPS on it and just shoot ourselves a line from where we were basically uh, straight down to Sheep Creek which I know there's an approved or not an approved but there's a uh, a well beaten as you can see quad trail on here which is what we came in on earlier this morning uh, so we we picked up on that trail after about three four kilometer bushwhack about four kilometer bushwhack uh, got on the trail but we're a little farther in uh, from where the the actual trailhead is so uh, we just crossed the creek that we crossed earlier this morning which is a half a kilometer up the trail uh, but now we're back on the main quad trail and we should be just minutes from uh, the trailhead and the quad so we'll mosey back out there and uh, head back to the truck then I'm just gonna scoot in Beaver Dam Road a few kilometers and just show uh, Lucas where the trailhead for Cairn Mountain is for his future endeavors and uh, user beware there is no stamp in the mailbox I found out the hard way. on <laughs> on top of volcano so uh, we'll notify the authorities and uh, just let them know they probably already know that it's missing or it needs to be repaired or whatever but uh, we'll just let them know at the tourist center and uh, I'll shoot Stefan a message tonight when I get home and uh, just let them know. Other than that, it was a great day. Weather was fine. Uh, a little hot coming back down here. I uh, was a little bit tired at the end of the day. So it looks like we're going to be, this is 13, we were 11, probably a kilometer from there. So it should be about 25K. Uh, yeah, 25, 25k round trip. Uh, pretty good day. What do you think? Your first silver, man. It was awesome. Tell the people. It was a good one. Probably my favorite mountain I've climbed yet, but I'm looking forward to climbing the other silvers though. Should be a good summer. Awesome. Definitely a mountain though, eh? Yeah. Not like those uh, bronze peaks that are like mole hills. This bronze is, peaks are nothing compared to that. This definitely looks like a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> and the backdrop, it was awesome. Yeah. Just yeah. awesome backdrop New there. Paper for my phone. Yeah, yeah exactly. Awesome. I enjoyed it. Very good. Anyway, Rick and the Rockies, out. Okay, so it wasn't five minutes after I hung up on you last time that uh, here we are here's the quad here's the trailhead where we went in this morning we just came back out this way so I'm guessing it was a I never did look what was that 12 point what were we 10 it's only two and a half clicks that's all yeah two and a half kilometers out the trail so that wasn't too bad okay over and out